Hello and welcome to Technical Top Tips. Today we'll have a look at adding customized rules using warning calls to QAC. QAC can easily be customized to produce messages based on any banned function calls in your coding standard. Function calls may be banned for various reasons. For example, the MISRA coding standard bans the use of dynamic memory allocation, so therefore calls to the uh, function malloc, uh, free, calloc, realloc, are all banned. Other functions might be banned because they're unsafe to use, for example the gets function, and other functions might be banned because they are uh, have a security risk associated with them. So in various security coding standards, a lot of string function um, functions are, are banned. This quick demo will show us how we can add rules uh, for this and produce customized messages and customized HTML help to explain to the engineer why the function they're calling shouldn't be used and hopefully provide suggestions and alternatives to how to recode. So let's go and have a look at the uh, at some code. We've got some open source code here from the GNU Diff Utilities program. There's about 7,000 lines of code here and we'll just analyze that now. Analyze this nice and quickly and have a look in the message browser and we can see we have various messages in here recursive function calls and so on which are violations of the coding standard but we want to add in some extra uh, rules in into the coding standard here to reduce the function calls that people can call so we can do that in the analyzer personality on the warning calls tab we can add in any functions we don't want users to call. So we might want to put in the gets function, which is not safe to use, and also put in malloc as well, because we've decided we don't want people to use dynamic memory allocation. So if we save that, and then go and reanalyze our code. And now if we open up the message browser, the message associated with this is on the major level in functions uh, and the message is 2010 the function must not be called so we have a couple of instances in here where we're calling malloc and we shouldn't be using malloc um, so the next thing we need to do is to um, add in a custom uh, message uh, for this and for this we need to edit the user message file and there's an example user message file that comes with the tool uh, and we can associate that with our personality in the message personality and it's called qac.usr.ex and if we go and edit that we can add in another message group on level 4 so we'll call it calls and we'll give that a nice uh, textual name of band uh, function calls and then what we'll do is we'll create a, a new message we'll say message 7000 put that in the new group and say uh, dynamic memory allocation function set this should No, not should. Must not be used. So we'll save that. We'll go and check that that's in our message uh, personality and function calls, and the message is turned on. Now, all we need to do is go and tell the uh, the warning calls to generate that message when we come across that function call and we'll say 7000 okay so we'll now reanalyze and now if we go and have a look in here we can go to our uh, level 4 band function calls and see we have message 7000 indicating a new um, message there appearing there's no HTML help available at the moment we haven't written some yet and the HTML help uh, the message browser first looks in the same directory where the user message file is 
uh, and if it doesn't find it, the HTML help there, it'll look in the, the standard message uh, help directory. So let's go and add some message help. We just need to create a uh, HTML file named after the message, so 7000.html. And we'll just edit that and put some code in, HTML, and then add in some text. Obviously, we can add in lots of other uh, text in here, perhaps some links to some external documents, uh, and so on and so forth. So now that if we go and have a look at the message browser, find our message, click on the HTML help, we see our HTML help, which hopefully should explain how we can recode and why we shouldn't be using these function calls. So QAC can be easily customized to produce messages based on any band function calls. And in this demo, we've shown how we can add these rules and how we can produce custom messages and customized HTML help for these. If you'd like more information, please visit our website at www.programmingresearch.com or email me, jason underscore masters at programmingresearch.com.